YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Deirdre Elix Jr. And now I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully everyone is well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here on this channel, man. Positive vibes only. All right, so today, Smell Good Family, we have more discovery. Um, and I've been wanting to try this brand for quite some time, man. So Nazar Fragrances, um, I have been, uh, people have been recommending me these fragrances for about a year, year and a half now. Um, and there was one in particular fragrance that was called Black Butter. Um, Terrence, the owner of the brand, was so gracious enough to send me quite a bit of his collection um, from his brand. Uh, but the Black Butter one, I was hoping it was in there, but it wasn't, but I'll get my nose on it um, very, very soon. But um, I, the, the, I'm gonna talk more about this uh, with Sips and Sniffs. Shout out to Jason and Hidden Gems. We're gonna do a live stream to really tap more into the brand. They've already done They've already done an interview with Terrence. I'll put that in the description uh, uh, of this video. But I'm gonna talk about three of the, I believe he said me 12, that really stand out uh, from the house. Now, he seems to be known for his gourmands, um, Nazar fragrances. Um, I'm not the biggest gourmand guy, but I will say, there's one that we're gonna talk about today that totally has my interest. And another thing I'll say about this house, um, smelling them on paper versus smelling them on skin are two different experiences. And I'll get into that um, in just a second. So we're gonna talk about the three that I've smelled, uh, well, the three that really stand out to me thus far, kind of talk through them, read the notes. And um, I definitely wanted to, um, you know, talk about this house and bring it, um, bring it more light to um, fragrance lovers out there who've never heard of the brand. Um, some really good quality stuff here. Um, and let's go ahead and tap into it. So again, shout out to Terrence over at Nazar Fragrances for being so gracious enough to send me um, his line. Shout out to Dame for coordinating this thing. Uh, Dame was a real instrumental uh, piece uh, of this. And I just wanna shout out my guy Dame for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and tap into it. Um, first of all, the cases come in very nice cases. Uh, Nazar Fragrances, um, I really like them. Here's the case here, um, pull out case where the fragrance sits on the inside here. All of the boxes are all alike, but very nice quality. Um, all of his fragrances come in 30 mLs. Um, no, I think it's, I think he said like they're 40. They get up to 40 mLs uh, from the live stream, but uh, the box says 30 mLs, all right? But um, very good here. And then we'll get into the first one that we're gonna discuss. The first one on the agenda today. Let's talk about it from the House of Nazar Fragrances. We're gonna be discussing King. King, very nice, very nice bottle. And straight to parfum concentration. Let's check out that atomizer. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Puts out a lot of juice. Man. Mm, 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 mm. In the air, really good. So I don't got nothing on my arm here. Let's spray a spray there. Let's get that um, to settle down a bit. And in the air, you get this. Uh, there's a juicy fruitiness to the juicy fruitiness fruity juicy opening to this fragrance clean very good quality here comes off very natural doesn't uh have much of anything synthetic in the opening this is easy to wear um immediately when i smelled this on skin first time i smelled it on paper I am not gonna lie. I was like, wow, okay, it's cool, it's cool. But then, of course, I should have known better, right? <laughs> I should have known better to smell it on paper. And then I went ahead and I smelled it on skin. And it's so good, man. I got home from work, testing these out. I put a couple sprays um, around my neck. I was wearing a lighter fragrance that day, it was about gone. So I put a couple sprays around my neck and put one on my arm and wore it throughout the rest of the afternoon into the evening. And this, at first, was my favorite. I'll get to my favorite uh, in a little bit here. But the King is really, really, really good, man. Great quality. Um, I don't know if you can see on camera, I got a nice oil streak on my arm. I don't know if it's gonna pick up, clash with my studio light here. But it smells so good, man. Fruity, uh, a nice must, very clean, uh, very mass appealing. Uh, my wife smelled this, she was like, oh yeah, that smells really good, that smells nice. Um, so, a water round. Um, for the rest of the afternoon, rest of the evening on two separate days. Now, I've had these fragrances for about two weeks. So we've really been testing them and really seeing what they're all about. Again, been intrigued 
with the brand for about a year now. Been, it's been recommended to me for about a year now. So I was super hyped to learn that I was gonna get a chance to see what these are about. But let's go ahead and go to the notes of King from the Zaw Fragrances, just to give you guys an idea of what we got going on here. Again, it's straight to parfum concentration. Full 30 ml bottles are right around $100. Uh, and for the quality that you get, I think it, for the quality that you get, in my opinion, others may feel differently, quality that you get, yes, I understand why. Straight to parfum, quality, performs, good stuff. Top notes of King. I don't know, this could be my favorite. Between this and Black Leopard, but we'll talk about it in a second. So top notes, black currant, pineapple, birch, and pear. In the mid, you get argilwood and rose. And in the base, you get vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, and amber. So very smooth. That uh, pineapple um, juiciness is still here, starting to settle down a bit. There's a floral presence that really starts to uprise as the fruitiness of the pineapple. Um, the black currant doesn't come off real tardy, um, but you can see how it adds depth uh, to the fragrance for sure. Um, but I really like this one. It's a nice profile. It reminds me of a couple of things, um, but not one thing specifically. So you get a little bit of the fruitiness from, like from, in my opinion, um, Coach Platinum, like that or that uh, fruity opening, that pear opening, and uh, not coach, the original coach, the original coach, that pear opening reminds me of it in here. The pineapple, that pineapple that you kind of get from like K at Afrasan is in here. Not as, not as juicy and ripe, but it's in here. And like the combination of the two is giving a beautiful fruity opening here. But this is a nice daily wear. Uh, compliment getter has to be um, I'm going to be wearing this out into the office um, to really get a full day's wearing like this week. Um, so King by Nazar Fragrances is solid. It's good. It's it's more than solid. The quality really blew my mind. So I'm going to take that back. All of these are more than solid. Quality blew my mind. Extract the perfume. Really good stuff. And again, the atomizer from the bottle, the presentation, very good. King from the House of Nazar. Fragrances is solid in my book. If I had to give it a rating, well, I'm going to give it a. This is really a first impression, but my overall impressions as of now, I'm going to give it an eight out of a ten. Eight out of a ten for King for Nazar fragrances. All right, up next, boy. <laughs> Again, I am not the biggest gourmand fan in any way, shape, or form, but I've heard a lot about this fragrance. Up next from the House of Nazar fragrances, we're going to be talking pie and cognac. My goodness. <laughs> Check out the atomizer yet again. Woo -ha. We're gonna get something right here. One strip of my arm, let that breathe down a little bit. Man, in the air, it is so crazy. How this smells like a fruity app, like cinnamon, uh, fruity, a, a sweet, like sweet potato pie out of the oven. And while somebody's eating, it's a warm piece, somebody's sipping a nice smooth, Cognac. If you had a real smooth cognac, this is the aroma. It's nuts. It's like a buttery crust. Peach. This is stupid, bro. <laughs> In a good way, this is crazy, bro. I'm not a gourmand guy, but I will say this. When it cools down a bit again, when me and the wife go out, like during the fall, during the winter time, and it's just one of them sexy type of date nights. You heard me. Yes, sir. This is on the list. Pie and cognac is sexy stuff, man. So let's go ahead and read the notes uh, for pie and cognac. Um, I am so, uh, so impressed. So here we are, pie and cognac. It is in uh, stock right now, seasonal fragrance. Um, up top, let's see where we at, where we at. I had it set up. Here we go. All right. Top notes. Cognac, plum blossom, peach, clove, cinnamon, and saffron in the mid. Apple, pie crust, bakery, toffee, tonka bean, and oak. Base notes, patchouli, oud, amber, benzoin, fur, and vanilla. Again, I'm not the biggest gourmand guy, but this is one that will be very very close um, in the collection when it cools down, when it's 
when it's going to be one of those type of evenings when me and the wife are stepping out and it's one of those adult themed date nights when it's me and her very intimate and um when she gets her nose on this i'm very curious to see how she's going to react because she's a grown mom level hell she may take this from me but this stuff is good it is fire rating this without being a gourmand lover but i appreciate what a gourmand is and what it's about i'm going to give this an eight and a half out of a ten an eight and a half out of ten it could go up when i get a chance to wear it fully in the colder weather but just testing it around the house and even right now quality from the peach it's crazy the the way he captured that apple i mean that that pie crust that pie crust the cognac is just enough booze and it literally Thanksgiving. I don't know about y'all, but my, you know, people in my family, I've done it. You know, you get your nice piece of warm, like sweet potato pie. And you might have a nice bourbon, like, cause the sweet potatoes pie, it ain't, it ain't too sweet. So the mixture of the two ain't gonna have you crazy in the restroom. <laughs> but if sweet potato done right, it's a great combo. Oh my God, Pine Cognac, this is our fragrances. If you love gourmands, if you love gourmands, get your nose on this one, my God. All right, and quite possibly my favorite between this and King, and there's plenty more that we're gonna discuss, again, future live stream coming up with myself, Hidden Gems, Jason Bircher, Sips and Sniffs, and myself, we'll be talking more of the house. Um, and I'm gonna be looking to get Terrence on on the live stream to have a conversation with him, um, to have more talk about his incredible brand. Up next, from the House of Nazar Fragrances, could possibly be my favorite, Black Leopard. Number one, I love the name. Love the name. Another 30 ml bottle, extract the parfum. Let's get this in the air. Woo! There we go. My God, these atomizers are crazy. Uh. <laughs> it's fire. <laughs> it's fire. Let's get it on skin. And I'm testing other things on my hands on the inside of my arm, that's so why I'm spraying on the outside. But when I smelled this and I said, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So sweet. There's a, 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 a freshness to it, but the sweetness is not too much. And I don't like super sweet fragrances. And this is a bit playful. It's a bit playful, but it's it's reserved. It's not like super loud off my skin, but it's something that if I'm dressing down at work when I'm not wearing the slacks or the button up and it's dressed down day on Friday and Saturday, I'd wear this to the office. If I'm going out to brunch or lunch or something like that and it's a nice weather day, wouldn't wear this in the high heat of the summer, but if it's during the fall, during the spring, during the winter, during the daytime and I'm kind of dressed casually, oh man, this would be the perfect scent. I don't know, I don't know. Black Leopard or King, those two, one of those two are my favorite, but both of them are really, really, really good for sure. So again, it's not too sweet, but just enough sweetness. Great quality here. There's a freshness here that I like. And as it starts to settle down, it really, it really takes on like, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say mysterious, but it almost gives like a, yeah, I guess I am saying that, a, a mysterious play on depends on how you dress and how you present yourself because there's something about this that's recognizable but you're just not and i'm not sure exactly what it is like it's, it's playing that type of role and that's what i got when i first smelled it for the first time black leopard is fire let's go ahead and get to the notes it's a it's a different play has a little bit more base to it than king does um but ultimately um another great fragrance from the house i'm very impressed uh, by the house. Well, let's go ahead and get these notes. Black Leopard. Again, 30 mLs of these are $100 on the website, but here we go. Top notes, pepper, bergamot, sweet orange, yes lord, and cinnamon. You definitely get an orangey cinnamon vibe in the opening. In the mid, myrrh, sandalwood, that creaminess holds it together for sure. Tobacco, incense, and labdamum. In the base, tonka, vanilla absolute, isoe super, musk, cedar, and vetiver. So the cleanliness from the musk really shines. I don't get much of tobacco play, uh, but I definitely get uh, the musk. I definitely get the citruses. I definitely get the cinnamon, um, the vanilla. I definitely get those things. And isoe super allows us to stay on skin for a real long time. All three of these, or all of them really, they really, really perform. 
So King and Black Leopard were the two that really stood out. I gave these right around the same rating. I gave this an eight out of a 10, eight out of a 10. I have a feeling they're gonna go up once I wear them into the world, but I've been testing them on skin for the past two weeks. Um, but Black Leopard definitely holds uh, that eight, 8.2 score, really good stuff. Again, kind of suits my taste. Kind of reminds me of like Coach Platinum, like Prada Black. Doesn't smell like those, but that type of sweetness. Just enough, but not too much for me to wear at least, because I'm not the biggest sweet fragrance lover. But even though Pine Cognac <laughs> is really good. But Black Leopard from Dissolve Fragrances, fire, fire stuff. Like that black plate, like how it plays out. Great work from Terrence and his, and his team over at Nazar Fragrance. Very generous dude. Um, just great energy. I look forward to uh, interviewing him and having a conversation with him at some point. Um, but more content on the way from Nazar Fragrances for sure. I definitely appreciate the love. Shout out to Dame. Shout out to Terrence and the Nazar brand. Um, I'm really impressed. Really impressed. I can see why he has the following that he has. I can see why he's getting the love that he's getting. So King, what is the Pine Kanye? Stellar stuff, man. Stellar stuff. Black Leopard. Really good. Really good. Job well done, Terrence. Job well done. So again, new discovery for myself. First time bringing to the channel, Nazar Fragrances. If you're interested in anything, I'll have the, the link down below. You can shop around. He has 30 mLs uh, for around the $100 mark, but he also has samples. You can sample them. He's very great with customer service. I've done some research on Terrence. A lot of love back to him for what he brings to the FRAGCOM and the community. And it's a plus uh, black-owned company. Um, so I really like to see um, you know, black-owned brands on the rise and, and, and getting uh, the, the, the same opportunity as all other brands um, in the world have. And the Zoff Fragrances, they definitely deserve the spotlight shine on them for sure. So shout out to Terrence and shout out to Nazar. And we'll be talking more about them right here on this channel, man, for sure. So let me know down below, down below in the comments. I know a lot of you have experience it, experiences with Nazar Fragrances. Let me know what you guys think. What are you talking about? How do you feel? Do you love it? Do you not? Is it cool? Is it great? Let me know down below in the comments, man. Look out for more content coming soon about this brand. Really good stuff. Shout out to Nazar Fragrances for sure. All right. So until next time, y'all be cool. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Y'all know what it is, man. Positive energy. Positive vibes. As always, spack it up. Spack it out. Like that thing all around. And remember, what you put out to this world is exactly what you are going to get back. That's for sure. Terrence, appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, man. Splackle. Peace.